Hello, collective. Hey, welcome to Pound Start Oracle. I'm Pound. Nice to meet you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I welcome you. I welcome you, my loyal support. I appreciate you, and I thank you very much. Thank you to the new subscriber I got uh, today, which is Monday, the 24th of October. I appreciate you, honey, because of my channel. Uh, they, they've been messing with my channel, and uh, it'll go up and down, and it won't show you when uh, they delete uh, off. It, it won't show you, but... Uh, uh, it wouldn't show like 10 of my videos that I received, that I received 10 subscribers from the other day and it did not post. It only posted two. So I don't really know how many subscribers I have, but spirit knows and spirit's going to take them down. I'm using this, uh, new deck right here to see what type of woman is watching me or what we may need to be doing. This is a, a Britney Spears Oracle. Spirit, can you help us with this reading? What is Oh, thank you, Spirit. Oh, gosh, this is the masterpiece. Okay, so the masterpiece. Ooh, look at Brittany in that. Hang on, I'll tell you what that means. The masterpiece, okay? That means, um, well, I gotta find where it is because I don't know, you guys. Masterpiece 43. So you may be 43. Or you might have a seven-year-old. Um, I'm 41, and that's the lucky star. Oh, I love that spirit. <laughs> so, okay, here's uh, the masterpiece. And what that's saying, it says, uh, Britney's fifth album, Blackout, is considered to be many fans. Is considered by many fans to be her masterpiece. The 2007 album still sounds fresh and innovative. It's dark. Club Ready Beats changed the sound of pop music, and we're still hearing its sonic influence all over the radio today with songs like Peace of Me and the professional ballad Why Should I Be Sad, sandwiched between sexy dance jams. Britney directly addressed the world's obsession with her private life. The masterpiece is forward-thinking, never content to go with the flow and do what's been done before. Blaze your own trail. The greatest art and accomplishments of your life are right on the horizon so things is coming right into you today collective don't you think that it's not hang on i'm gonna turn on some music i'm gonna turn on some music for us i like listening to sirius on my satellite and i usually listen to lithium because that's just the type of music. Some of it's good and some of it ain't. It just depends. Rage Against the Machines on right now. Okay. All right, so let me get all my decks out here and let's see what Spirit, what is it that uh, this person that needs to blaze their own trail needs to know? I mean, you're a masterpiece in itself. You're you're very beautiful and talented, and you got to remember this about yourself, okay? Sorry, you guys, about how it's... Uh, my husband made my phone stand to... Because uh, I forgot I didn't get the right one, and it clipped like that, <laughs> Oh, the sun card come out. This is about positivity, pleasure, happiness, vitality, fun. Okay? So you need to get outside today and have some fun. And stop being uh, trapped up in your head, you know. And uh, it come to light that you just keep thinking negatively, you know. You're going through a rebirth as well. When you see this sun card, that's what it means, uh... You, your birthday might be on the 19th, uh, or the 10th, uh, I mean, or the 1st, but this is a, this, you know, 19 reduces to, to 1, so this is about new beginnings and success. So, it comes to light that you're going to be a success. You, you bring beautiful art. You got to stop living in your thoughts with 
whoever this person is that done something to you. Um, because you've been playing it small. That's why this come upside down, because you didn't plan. You, you liked planning in foresight. And that's why it's been delayed. Because you got to stop living in your head. Okay? Uh, your birthday could be on the 8th uh, or the 3rd also. Or the 11th. I had an 8 plus 3. That's what I got. What else does this person need to know today, Spirit? I love you and I thank you so much. Me and my collective love you so very much. Oh, we got uh, 10 of Pentacles. Uh... If you can get out of this dark energy of being up in your thoughts and because you put this self-imposed restriction on yourself, if you can get out of that, you're going to receive a lot of financial wealth because you can build your own, you, you can build your own legacy. And this is uh, the third deacon in Virgo. This is the ultimate completion, final recognition, final manifestation, result of true will. See, you got to use your true will. We all have our own will, and you got to do that. I mean, it comes to light that when you stop thinking negative and stop playing it small, that you can uh, become a success and contribute, your, you know, to this, you know, whatever you want to contribute to, you know, in your life. But you've been three of swords upside down. You've been negative self-talking, you know, and you got to release all this pain and, and forgive, fit, forgive yourself and others. This is the second deacon in Libra. This is, you know, three of swords. Um, but this is about expression, expansion of the idea. You, so you need to grow in this first stage, whoever's listening to me, and let go of all that damn heartache and whatever it is. You need to let go of it. I hope y'all like how I did this today, you guys. I, I thought it would be feel better if I just come in my living room and did a and did a reading ten of swords. See, it can't get any worse. You can only go upwards. Uh, you might be, you know, in a recovery phase of your life. Maybe you you was uh, imprisoned. Actually, you might have been imprisoned, or you was imprisoned in that victim mentality of entrapment. And you know, you gotta stop playing that because. Somebody's always going to do this to us. So there's always going to be heartbreak and betrayal, but it's you got to choose that you can rise above that shit. <laughs> that's that's what the meaning of the story is. You got to choose that you can rise above it. Okay, and and release all this fear. Release this fear of being this beautiful person that you're meant to be and you're meant to shine. You know, because uh. This is your masterpiece. The canvas is yours to create with, okay? And stop having inner confusion, all right? Because uh, these damn insecurities and darkness, you got to release all that. So somebody needs to release some confusing ideas that they're hiding inside their self. Now, I don't know who this is for, for you all, but... It's for someone. Who is this person's sign, spirit? Who is this person's sign that needs to pay attention to me? This is a Capricorn. This could be for Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. You could be a Capricorn, a Pisces. A Capricorn, a Pisces, a Gemini. A Libra, a Leo, that's Gemini, or an Aries. It, it can be all these signs, but uh, somebody is holding on to greedy, being greedy and possessive and stingy. You got to stop overspending, okay? You got to stop overspending in your, with your family's wealth. You got you to gotta really listen to what I'm saying, and you got to learn to uh, create you got to start a new project. This is about inspiration. You're having the urge to create at the moment. Uh, you got to choose willpower and the desire because you have the power for all these potential beginnings and growth. Okay? That's what it's saying, collective. Okay, let me, uh, let me see what it says with these, uh, 
from Vine Porch today, okay? Spirit, what is a message for the twins today? Big goals. It come to light that you'll be a success in this new business that you're doing. Claim your place in the world so you can be a success. Now listen, you got a lot of big goals. You know, this could be Leo. What about uh, Nana? Eight of Swords. <laughs> this is your sacred space. You know, you need to start an altar, and you need to pray to the uh, pray to the spirits around that they will take all this negativity away from you and bring in this sunlight back into your life. And spirit will, spirit will, you guys. I promise. And look, this is about uh, you know a path or. In the upright, this is about uh, foresight, expansion, overseas opportunities, but it was in the upside down. This is about your sacred journey. This is you need to understand who you truly are, and 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 what you're truly meant to do, uh, because this is going to bring you self discovery. Okay, and what about Ten of Pentacles? Ten of Pentacles, Spirit, I love you. Oh wow, balance. See. You're balanced in your uh, home life, you know, because this is about your generational wealth. 1129. That means 1111 Twin Flame. I love you. And, and you know, I do have a, a Virgo. And we are happy in my family life, you guys. And this is about me and this Virgo is yin and yang. This is about darkness and light. We, we, we're staying centered in our higher selves. And this is what you need to do, collective. Okay, because you're a beautiful masterpiece. Believe it. Believe it. What about three of swords upside down? And remember, you guys, everybody gets hurt. And this masculine is, this is, uh, this masculine is, this reading is for masculine because they're staying in this negative self-talk and they need to release all this pain, your divine masculine. Your twin or soulmate needs to do that. They're seeking you, but they can't let go of all these repressed emotions. See why it's on the water. You know, they're, they're reflecting on the, their life at the moment. They're reflecting on how they need to recover and move on from this hanging on to dark. Oh, and look, it's Ten of Swords come out because, you know, it can't get no worse. You can only go upwards. Uh, this was about recovery. Regeneration, resisting an inevitable end. You took a pause. Maybe this masculine thought that um, maybe he is recognizing that this is a continuation of your all's contract. This is realization of endings. So uh, you're waiting for a sign. This masculine is waiting for a sign. That's why he's in inaction at the moment. And he's feeling calmness. He had to take a step back. So whoever is Divine Masculine is, they had to take a step back and pause from you. Uh, because, you know, that's why the moon come out. The moon, you know, the moon and upright. This is a, a fear, anxiety, subconscious premonition, uh, but it was in the upside down, and they got, they had to release all this fear and repressed emotions from their inner, from their, the, the, the inner child inside their self, so they could be playful and happy and enjoy the present moment to live to the fullest, so they're holding on to feelings of what their mommy and daddy done to them, you all, that's what it means, that's what this, uh, divine masculine's doing, and they better stop doing it, what about, this uh, Four of Pentacles Capricorn karmic partner. So maybe somebody out here has a Capricorn that's a karmic partner. It don't, you don't have to, but somebody out here does. And this is about a conventional relationship, duty, bound by societal conventions. So... Um, so somebody... You're balanced in your money. That's why it landed on this. This divine masculine is balanced in their money. They have big goals. They 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 made them an altar, and they know that this is your all's journey back to each other. But the masculine had to pause and.
fix this inner child and let go of this karmic partner. You got to let go of that shit. You can't hang on to that. Okay, so this is a contract that, you know, has to be fulfilled or broke. That's all I know with this karmic. All right. Appreciate. Today, I am grateful. Your twin appreciates you. See the blessings. Practice appreciation. They've just been stuck feeling, okay, Collective? I love you, Collective. I hope that helped you all a little bit today. That right there, you know. it. Um, and I made some cards over here, but I don't know. Let me uh, do these little cards real fast. I love you, Collective, and I appreciate each and every one of you all. And I'm sorry for that energy of my readings last week. With that one reader, I'm not watching nobody. I, I'm not watching anybody anymore that makes me feel that way. I know the readers that do that and the ones that don't. Ooh, this is a this is about the healing temple of the lunar light. This is about life cycles and energy healing and communication. See, this divine masculine wants to communicate to you. Maybe you're all communicating telepathically um, at the moment. He knows that he's got to heal all his energy before he can even come towards you. He knows he has to, Collective. He has to. There's no other way around it. You know, this is about mountain lights, light beings, portals, subtle energies. See, you're getting uh, subtle energies of all this stuff that's happening around you at the moment, Collective. And, you know, you're... Maybe you're maybe you're actually seeing a lot of lights on top of a certain mountain every night, and uh, it's the light beings that's trying to help your energy cause. Uh, and and they're doing this outside at night time. Okay, they're trying to communicate to you to heal yourself out in the night time, divine masculine. I love you, divine masculines out here. I hope y'all do this. And then we have water spirit. Look. And it's 43. And remember, Brittany, this Brittany was 43. So this Divine Masculine may be 43, you all. And if your Divine Masculine is 43 and you're watching this for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you all because I want to give a deck away at 500, but I got to get there first, you guys. And I'm on my way. I need 30 more people. So if you're new, please be one of the 30 so I can add you all to my hat box and uh, I can give away that deck. They have a lot of emotions for you. They're they're getting their memories back and about how life force has helped them. See how it, water, water spirit is helping divine masculine and these lights in the night sky. They pause to realize how beautiful that you are. Look at that. They never saw somebody as beautiful as you. They know you've had so much hurt in your life, and they have too. And they just want to become as one with you and be a kindred spirit with you. You know, y'all could be kindred spirits. And this is, you know, it, he could be your spirit companion, a guide to help comfort you. But you taught him of this. You know what? You taught him of this. Whoever is listening to me. Let's see what one of these, what's one of these messages? I love you, Collective, and I thank you guys so much. Oh, wow, we got the Spiral Dancer. Circuitous. A circuitous route. Perception. A uh, circuitous route. That sounds like going around and round in circles. See her karma thing blowing out of her hand over there? You know, you had to get out of this continuous circle of never-ending bullshit. You had to change your perceptive on this whole matter. That's what it means. 1919. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is Gaia's garden. Fruition. Abundance. Reaping what you sow. So, um, so this masculine knows that he, you, that you and him, Divine Feminine, are going to be reaping what you guys sowed with each other. And that it's coming into fruition. That you're all going to be so abundant because you all got big goals. You got big goals for your life, baby. You got big goals for your life, baby. 
and the winged ones help you. You have angelic help and miraculous aid helping you at the moment. I love that spirit. This is about divine masculine and divine feminine using a, uh, a using discernment. You got a clear vision and you have attention to the details. So, so these angels are making y'all pay attention to the details and maybe the angels come out as spirals. And remember you all, I talked about that in my reading, how these little spiral angels showed up at my stepson's uh, wake. You know, when you die and you go to the funeral home and you have a wake before they bury him the next day. Yeah, I, I, I tell you, they was circles, like spirals in the church, like it's zzz, of light, of light. And I was like, that is amazing. And do you see how it looks in her hand? That's how it looked in them chairs. And I was going to show it to y'all. My husband said, no, do not put that out, Pam. So I can't show you all, you all. Not right now, I can't, because I respect my husband's wishes, you know. I respect, I respect him. Now, I'm going to give you a message of mine. Now, this may pertain to some of you all, and it may not. So, if it doesn't pertain to anyone, do not take it to heart. I only pay attention to this message that I gave. Are you listening? So, if it doesn't pertain, do not take it to heart, you guys. All righty, because some things, it might say something bad in here. But remember, there is a karmic partner out here. Spirit, uh, what is it that this divine masculine needs to know today? Um, somebody might have been putting rat poison in your foot, in your food and drinks, uh, when you turned your back, divine masculine. Are you listening? Hmm? Well, if they're doing that, whoever this karmic is, don't worry, she'll go to jail. What else do we need to know? Don't pay attention now. If that, if you know that's now not happened to you, but it could been happened to someone out here. Yes, it can. They put people to spy on you, divine masculine. People was paid to follow you and spy you around, whoever this is for, okay? One fell in the floor, let me see what it said. And, um, and, uh, and, and this karmic partner, they, they, they said, you're not allowed to have any friends or any time to yourself. It's like you was under this person's control and you have to see that she's an abusive narcissist. You have to see that she's an abusive narcissist masculine or, no, it's a she. It's a she because this is for Divine Masculine. What else for Divine Masculine? I love you, Spirit. What else did Divine Masculine want to say? What's Divine Masculine want to say? Hang on, you guys. Two flew over there. The karmic got pissed and took her vehicle and, and rammed it into Divine Masculine's vehicle with hers. <laughs> so she uh she went and uh hit hit Divine Masculine's vehicle with her vehicle out of spite just to be a bitch. And might have caused like a thousand dollar damage. Huh. And they need to stop lying and acting like they're not in love with you, divine masculine or divine feminine. So, so this divine masculine that's took a pause from from you, divine feminine, they they was lying and acting like they weren't in love with you because they had to get rid of this damn karmic. And they're in regret for not speaking their truths to you. Divine Masculine regrets not speaking their truth to you now, Collective. Yeah, now they really regret it. Because he's got this bitch that all she does is, if you don't do what she says, she gets pissed off and pays people to spy on you and, and, and to hit your vehicle and to, uh, and to uh, put cameras on you. And she will be poisoning you behind your back and you don't even know it, Divine Masculine. And they got a hidden web camera on you. Huh? Did you hear that? What else? They got a hidden web camera, Divine Last One, and you don't even know it. They could be doing a little nasty stuff on their webcam, and you don't know that either, Divine Last One. Maybe you need to check. They love bringing havoc to your home life, these people. They love causing havoc. That's all they know how to do, boys and girls. That's all. And this, this woman, she wanted to make other people think that you was a crazy, worthless, useless man. This karmic woman. And now God is showing her that she was just a hater. And God is going to put her in her place for doing that to a chosen one here on earth. Oh, I love you, spirit. We love spirit, don't we, me and my collective? Last message. 
for today, you guys. I gotta get off here before my husband calls and messes up his reading for the collective. One more message for Divine Masculine. Oh, wowdy woody. Any threats made to uh, you, Divine Masculine, or your family will receive the full consequences from the law. Oh, the sheriff in town. Maybe the sheriff uh, and this karmic woman was loving to make people think you was crazy and worthless and useless. And they put a camera in your house. Did you hear that, Divine Masculine? They wanted to bring havoc to your home. Oh, they wanted to. They'll never be forgiven. These karmics are never going to be forgiven for all their tricks and antics. Remember, you all, if you all haven't went through this specific, what I'm talking about over here on this side, only pay attention to this first reading if, if my cards didn't make no sense. Because the karmic is trying to fraud you, Divine Masculine, or you, Divine Feminine, or the both of you, because and they'll never be forgiven because these karmics was trying to fraud you. And uh, them city boys like to be in that cocky energy. They're the cock of the walk. My idea, nobody's thought of this. Pound dead, pound star oracle. Remember, all these ideas are mine. Don't steal them. And uh, so uh, she's going around telling everybody that you're a cocky cock of the walk, whoever this karmic is, divine masculine. I tend to my own business. My divine masculine knows it. They was trying to steal your identity from you. Uh -huh. They're trying to steal your identity from you, you guys out here. And somebody was trying desperately to get you in trouble or locked up, Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. But doesn't but it doesn't matter. Now they're going to be locked up. Because look, sheriff in town. They didn't know. I know the sheriff in town. Sheriff in town. And if this person was going against you because their family might have been against your family, well, they'll see because they'll all be going to jail because they was trying to steal your identity. And it could have been a, a city, city boy that's a cocky boy. And the karmic was trying to fraud you. See, the karmic was trying to fraud you. And they put a hidden camera in your house. So remember what I'm telling you out here today, Divine Masculine. And I love y'all, Divine Masculines, and I hope and pray that this helped one of y'all out here with something that you needed help with today. And uh, 27, 27, 99, if, um, if you're new to my channel and um, I helped you any little bit, please, please leave me a comment or give me a like. Uh, that's how you help my channel to get back up and me be noticed again, you all. And I thank you very much, and I love y'all. And I just try to help the collective, and I'm only focusing on my business. I'm not paying attention to these other readers anymore because when because when you do, women, women that's listening to me that's smart, and you're all starting your own thing. When you listen to them other ones, they'll um, they'll start taking from you and then claiming to be like you're the trouble, and it's them. So remember what I tell you all. I love you, and remember, divine masculine, you got a lot of big goals, and you need to. Make that altar and get on this journey so you can become balanced. And uh, so you and your twin can become together and stop uh, uh, waiting for these signs because you, you need to heal. You need to be playful in the moment and get rid of that fucking karmic. All right. Well, I love you guys. Peace is. Have a great Monday. Love you guys.